it's good to be back. <laughs> Hello beauts! Loki Gore here, hi how's it going? Welcome to 2021's 31 Days of Spooks. Yes, that's right, 31 instead of 13. I'm excited! Hello, hello, I'm back! Properly, yay! Most wonderful time of year! If you're new here, hi, how's it going? Welcome to Loki Gore, it's nice to meet you. I tend to do a bit of a Halloween series each year. It's becoming more of a tradition now and I really enjoy making it. So in 2018 and 2020, I did 13 Days of Spooks, where from the 19th of October, I did a countdown um, all the way through to Hallow's Eve, posting a look every day. So 2018 series was just on Instagram and in 2020, last year, it was on YouTube. Here. And I wanted to challenge myself. So this time round, we're doing 31 days. From the 1st of October, from when you're watching this video, I will be posting a look every single day leading up to the countdown of All oh, Hallows Eve. So every single day of October, I will be posting a video. <laughs> ah. Have I completed filming everything? No. Will I be filming, editing and posting on the same day? Most likely, but here we are. So, <laughs> so this is the new series. Um, I'm very excited for it. I can't wait for you to see the rest. Um, and yeah, of course there is gonna be a trio of witches as tradition. So this episode, day one, we are gonna start with a witch. So I'm excited for this. Um, this is a look that I wanted to do for 2018, but couldn't do it for some reason. I just couldn't get the contouring and things like that. Um, I was still very new to doing SFX makeup and like, so I never did it until now. So we're doing Maleficent, one of my favorite villains of all time. So the first witch of the trio is gonna be Maleficent, so. I'm excited! Um, and yeah, let's get started. Um, so I've already primed my face. Uh, product wise, I'm going to be using these foundation sticks from Primark. They're £2.50 each. They're just really good for coverage and they smell really nice. I'm using the shades Ivory and Porcelain. Also going to throw in some Revolution SFX White Base to go in with that to make myself pale. Eye makeup, I'm going to be using, of course, the Jack Skeleton Makeup Palette. I love this thing so much, I may have to reinvest in getting another one because I'm using the absolute crap out of it. Using my uh, NYX contour palette, we need dem cheekbones. I'm using NYX finishing powder in banana and the uh, Primark perfect finishing powder in translucent just to kind of set everything. Of course got the setting spray as well, mascara, epic ink liner from NYX. That's all my products I'm using, I'm kind of speed- oh and lipstick, oh my god, lipstick. Most iconic part, so I'm going to be using a combination of both NYX liquid suede, one in Cherry Skies, and the other is in Kitten Heels. So, these two colours. But yeah, that's basically all the products I'm going to be using. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Woo! Okay, so I've done my foundation, I've set it with powder, and I'm going to just Set it with spray because I know with the headpiece on I'm gonna be sweating. So we need to set this makeup as much as possible so it doesn't melt off my face. So I'm gonna go in with my contour palette. The original makeup um, had obviously prosthetic pieces like uh, prosthetic cheekbones put in place. So she had like so they were like. I might revisit this with full prosthetics and just go all in and just like, just completely tr like go full commitment to Angelina Jolie's kind of take on Maleficent. By the way, that's the um, version we're doing. I feel like once I've got this in place and like I start putting like the detail in, I feel like it's gonna come together. But for now, I'm just gonna trust the process. This is the reason why I didn't do this look before because when I did try and do it on the 2018 series, I just lost my damn mind with contouring because to me it didn't look even, so I'm going to try not to spiral into that mindset. Okay, I just had to stop like for a minute because now it's blending in. You can see, like, I'm seeing the cheekbones now. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, back to time lapse. Um, anyway.
Okay, it's gonna let that bake for a wee little bit. I'm gonna set this with a spray. Yes, I'm gonna use my chap skeleton pilot, but I'm also going to, if I can find it, I'm gonna use some of the colours from my Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. because I really don't I want this to be smoky but as light as possible but still need that little bit of depth so when I look kind of like that I want it to look like the brow bones a lot more prominent I've got the contouring lines here so I don't know if you can see it how the cat eye kind of goes up like that that's what I want the gold the sweet spot a little bit of white and some foundation I'm going to put on my little eyelids and then to cut the crease and then powder it with a colour shade called What's This and Bones. So it's like a silvery kind of like white tone. You'd have to pray for me for the eyeliner because I do my eyeliner, I need to do this off camera because I cannot concentrate otherwise. So uh, what I want is kind of a really, really thin line just just to line the eyelashes and stuff like that, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so eye makeup done. <laughs> um, I just got to do my eyebrows. I know she has thinner eyebrows than I do, but um, oh well. Eyebrows are questionable, but we're getting there. It's fine, it's all fine. First, brushing off with the excess powder, and then we bake the face. Lipstick time! Ooh. Okay. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my boots. So I feel like I'm ready to uh, I'm just gonna finish up last minute bits and pieces, put my lips on properly, put my headpiece on things like that. Are we ready for the first montage of 31 days of food? Let's go. Never change you break your back to make me feel it. So this is my Maleficent, um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, it's been a long time coming for me to do Maleficent and this character. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I can't wait for you to see the rest of the series. So day one completed it mate. As always, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, even though it might not work. The more we boost this series, the more people will see it. So please engage with it as much as you can. And all of my social media is down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next fabulous installment of Loki Gore's 31 Days of Spooks. See you tomorrow, bye!